Okay guys, this video is going to be on corner kicks. We're going to go over our three different options that we have for corner kicks. So the first option, if uh, the wing who's taking the corner kick raises one arm up, that's when they're going to pass the ball back to the defender who is going to shoot it um, towards the far post. Um, the second option, the wing who's taking the corner kick will put two arms up, and that means she's going to cross it into the space. She's aiming for the space between the six-yard box and the penalty spot. So that means this. So here's the penalty spot. This is the six-yard box. So she's aiming right here in this space between the penalty spot and the six-yard box. And then the third option, the wing taking the corner kick, will do an air guitar sign, and they'll pass it straight to the forward on the baseline, and she'll dump it to the center mid. Um, and the wing, one wing will take the corner, the center forward will always try and stand in front of the goalie to make it hard for the goalie. Uh, the other wing will cover the far post and not let the ball get past them. And then the two center mids, the one center mid will run to the near post and the other center mid will run to the space between the six yard box and the penalty spot that we're looking to cross to. So let's show you what that looks like, okay? So if the ball goes out of bounds, down here, goes out for a corner kick, this is their goalie. So let's say it goes out over here, we've got our wing, sorry, we've got our three defenders here, our two center mids here and our three forwards are basically our two wings and our center forward there. So if the ball goes out there, then the wing will go there to take it. Our center forward will go stand right in front of their goalie. Okay. And our other wing will cover the far post. We'll start out here wide. Then our two center mids will actually start really back here wide too. Um, because these three are going to be wanting to make runs towards the goal. So as the cross comes in, if the ball just hits them, they don't even have to make good contact with it. If it hits their chest, if it hits their hip, if it hits their thigh or knee, their momentum's taking them towards the goal, and it can just knock it in. Okay, and then our other positions would be this. Our defenders will push up here. And so the first option, if she raises up one arm, she's gonna be looking to see if this defender is wide open and this space is wide open, then she's gonna dump the ball here and this defender is gonna run here and shoot the ball towards the far post, towards the goal. And these three will make the same runs. This one will run towards the near post, this one will run towards this space here, and this one will run towards this space at the far post and try not let the ball go out of bounds if it's off target. So the way that would look is they pass the ball here. She's gonna try and hit it first time as hard and high as she can towards the far post. And as that's coming in, this girl's gonna be running towards the near post. This one's running towards the uh, penalty spot and this girl is running towards the far post. Meanwhile, our center forward on the goalie is looking to make it hard on the goalie and look for any rebounds, or if the goalie drops it, to knock it in the goal as it's coming in here. Okay, so that's the first option. If, if, if our wing here taking the corner um, raises her arm, one arm up, okay? The second option is if she raises two arms up, again, she's aiming, she's looking to cross the ball from here to this space right here, okay? So she makes that cross. These girls want to be moving. As she's going to kick it, these girls just start taking off running. The thing is, you wanna be moving and just running towards the ball. And if the ball comes to you, that's great. You're gonna beat your defender to it and hit it in the goal. It's much worse just to be standing here hoping the ball gets to you. Just make a hard run and the idea is you're beating your defender to the ball. If the ball comes to you, you're ready and you just make contact with it with any part of your body that you can. So this girl runs as hard as she can towards the near post. This girl runs as hard as she can behind her to this space here. And this girl just makes the back post wing make sure the ball does not get past her out of bounds here. So if it misses everybody, she's here to knock it in. Okay, so that's if there's two arms up, she's looking to cross it straight in there, okay? And then the third option is the air guitar option. So if she does an air guitar, 
what she's going to do is the forward is going to check to her on the baseline like that. She's going to play her the ball. She'll receive it. If it's on this side, she'll receive it with her left, her um, right foot, which will open her up to be able to do a dump pass. And what will happen is if we put the defenders in here, we go like this. This girl is going to pick her teammate's defender here. So she's going to run this way as this girl hooks around her to this space here. And she drops it to her and she shoots it in. Okay, so let's go over that again. So they start their run back here, just like usual. The center forward has this. She'll make the air guitar sign as soon as she does that and goes to kick it. This forward checks straight to her hard. She plays her the ball as soon as she takes her first touch. This girl makes a hard run as fast as she can to be able to dump it and she rips it. So that's the third option, the air guitar option. So hopefully that makes sense for everyone. It's the same exact thing if it was on the other side. Then a wing will take it. The forward gets in front of this goalie. These two center mids would not stay on that side of the goal because if they run towards the ball here, they cannot deflect it towards the goal easily. They want to get to the far post, clear over here, and be running directly towards the goal. Make a run straight at the goal from this angle, and then the far post wing would make a run and cover the back post here so the ball doesn't go by them. And then on this side, this defender would be ready for her to drop it back here if that's an open option. Okay, so that's corner kicks. Hopefully that makes sense. And if we're all the way up there taking a corner kick, our goalie would not be back here on their, her line. She'd be pushed up here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And we'll help you guys know what we're doing on corner kicks. All right.